subperineal nerves and by the perineal branch of the posterior femoral, cutaneous, and nerve. Take a look in your atlas, the penis, and the scrotum, the male perineum, and the structures of the penis. The penis is a, a male copulatory organ and the common outlet for urine and semen. The penis consists of a root body and glands penis. It is composed of three cylindrical bodies of erectile cavernous tissue, the corpora cavernosa and corpus spongiosum, each of, of which have an outer fiber covering or capsule, the tunica apogenia. Superficial to the outer covering, it is deep fascia of the penis. The continuation of the deep uh, perineal fascia that forms a strong membranous covering for the corpora cavernosa and corpus spongiosum. Binding them together, the corpus spongiosum contains sponge urethra. The two corpora cavernosa are fused with each other in the median plane, except posteriorly, where they separate to, the, to form the cura of the penis. The root of the penis, the attached part, consists of the cura bulb and is through cavernous and bulbous spongious uh, muscles. The root is located in the superficial perineal pouch between the perineal membrane superiorly and the deep perineal fascia inferiorly. The crura and bulb of the penis contains masses of erectile tissue. Each cross is attached to the inferior part of the internal surface of the corresponding ischial ramus, anterior to the ischial tuberosity, the enlarged posterior part of the bulb of the penis is penetrated superiorly by the intermediate part of the urethra. The body of the penis is the free part that is pendulous in the flaccid conditions, except for a few fibers of the bulbous punctures near the root of the penis and the ischiocavernosus that embraces the cura. The body, the shaft of the penis, has no muscle. The penis consists of thin skin connective tissue blood and lymphatic vessels, fascia, uh, the, the corpora cavernosa and the corpus spongiosum contain the spongy urethra. Distally, the corpus spongiosum expands to the four to form the conical gland penis, which forms the head of the penis. The margin of the glands projects beyond the end of the corpora cavernosa to form the corona of the gland. The corona overhangs an oblique groove constriction, the neck of the glands that separates the glands from the body of the penis. The slit like opening of the sponge urethra, the external urethra orifice, is near the tip of the glands. The skin of the penis is thin, dark, and connected to the tunica albuginea by loose connective tissue. At the neck of the glands, the skin and fascia of the penis are prolonged as a double layer of skin. The purpose, which covers the glands to a variable extent, the frenulum of the purpose is median pole that passes from the deep layer of the prepuce to the urethral surface of the glands. The suspensory ligament of the penis is a condensation of the deep fascia that rises from the anterior surface of the pubic symphysis. The ligament passes inferiorly and split to form a sling that is attached to the deep fascia of the penis at the junction of the root and body. The fundiform ligament of the penis is band of elastic fibers of the subcutaneous tissue that extends from the linea alba superior to the pubis symphysis and splits to surround the penis before attaching to the, to the fascia of the penis. The superficial perineal muscles are the superficial transverse perineum, the bulbos conchosus, the ischiocavernosus. These muscles are in the superficial perineal pouch and are supplied by the perineal nerves. The superficial transfer perineal nerves are slender strips of muscles that pass transversely anterior to the anus. Uh, each muscle extends from the ischial tuberosity to the perineal body. The region of interdigitation of the fiber of the bulbospongiosus anteriorly 
the external anal sphincter posterior and the superficial perineal muscles laterally. The bulbous unctuous muscles lie in the medial plane of the perineum anterior to the anus. The two symmetrical parts are united by a medium tendinous array inferior to the bulb of the penis. The muscle arises from this trophy and the perineal body. The bulbous sponchosus forms a sphincter that compresses the bulb of the penis and the corpus sponchosus. In hiding and emptying the spongy urethra of residual urine and or semen, the anterior fibers of the bulbous sponchosus uh, and sifting the most proximal part of the body of the penis also assist erection by increasing the pressure on the erectile tissue in the root of the penis at the same time. They also compress the deep dorsal vein of the penis, impeding venous drainage of the venous spaces and helping to promote enlargement and entogeny of the penis. The ischiocarpus muscles surround the crura in the root of the penis. Each muscle arises from the internal surface of the ischial tuberosity and ischial ramus and passes anteriorly on the cross of the penis, where it is inserted into the sides and ventral surface of the cross and the perineal membrane. The ischiocarpus muscles force blood from the cavernous spaces in the cura into the distal part of the corpora cavernosa. This increases the turgidity of the penis. Contraction of the isocavernous muscle also compresses the deep dorsal vein of the penis and it leaves the cross of the penis, thereby cutting off the, the venous return from the penis and helping to maintain the erection. The arterial supply of the penis. The penis is supplied mainly by branches of the internal pudendal arteries. The dorsal arteries run in the interval between the corpora cavernosa on each side of the deep dorsal vein, supplying the, the fibrous tissue around the corpora and the penny skin. The deep arteries pierce the crura and run within the corpora cavernosa supplying the erectile tissue and the structures. And the artery of the bulb of the penis supplies uh, the posterior part of the corpus spongiosum and the bulbo urethral gland. The superficial and deep branches of the external pudendal artery supply the penis skin. Anastomosing with branches of the internal pudendal arteries, the deep arteries of the penis are the main vessels supplying the cavernous spaces in the erected tissue of the corpora cavernosa and are therefore involved in the erection of the penis. They give off uh, numerous branches that open directly into the cavernous spaces. When the penis is flaccid, these arteries are coiled. Hence, they are helicine arteries. The venous and lymphatic drainage of the penis blood from the cavernous spaces is drained by a venous plexus that joins the deep dorsal vein of the penis in the deep fascia. This vein passes deep to the arcuate pubic ligament and joins the prostatic venous plexus. Blood from the superficial covering of the penis drains into the superficial dorsal vein, which ends in the superficial external pudendal vein. Some blood also passes to the uh, lateral pudendal vein. The superficial ingula lymph nodes receive most of the lymph from the penis. Innervation of the penis, the nerves derive from the S2 through S4 segments of the spinal cord, passing through the pudendal nerve and the pelvic plexus, the dorsal nerve of the penis, a terminal branch of the pudendal nerve, arises in the pudendal canal and passes anteriorly into the deep perineal pouch and then runs to the dorsum of the penis, where it passes lateral to the dorsal artery. It supplies both the skin and the glass penis. The penis is richly provided with a variety of sensory nerves, and especially the glass penis, and thus is sensitive. 
branches of the ilioinguinal nerve supply the skin at the, at the root of the penis. The female perineum, the perineum dash, the uh, shallow perineal compartment inferior to the pelvic diaphragm, has the same skeletal boundaries as the pelvic cavity. The perineum uh, is bounded by the mons pubis, the medial as aspects of the thighs, the gluteal folds, the intergluteal cleft. The perineum includes the pudendum or vulva and the anus. Clinically, the term perineum is restricted to regions between the anal, the anal and vaginal orifices. The female external genitalia organs include the mons pubis, the labia majora, the labia minora, the clitoris, the vestibular vagina, the bulb of vestibule, the greater vestibular gland. The synonymous terms pulva and pudendum include all these parts. The terms pudendum is commonly used clinically. The vulva serves such as sensory and erectile tissue for sexual arousal and intercourse. The, the to direct the flow of urine. The to prevent entry of foreign materials into the urogenital tract. The mons pubis is the rounded body prominence anterior to the pubic synthesis, pubic tubercles, and superior pubic ramen. The eminence is formed by a mass of fatty cutaneous tissue. The surface of the mons is continuous with the anterior abdominal wall. After puberty, the mons pubis is covered with coarse pubic hairs. The amount of the fat decreases at puberty and decreases after menopause. The labia majora are prominent folds of skin that bound the pudendo flesh and indirectly provide protection for the urethral and vaginal orifices. Each labium major's largest field with a finger-like digital process of loose to cutaneous tissue contains smooth muscle, the termination of the bone ligament of the uterus. And fat passes inferior posteriorly from the mons pubis towards the anus. The labia lie at the sides of the pudendal cleft, the slit between the labia majora. The external aspects of the labia in the anus are covered with pigmented skin containing many septic.